Hi, this is Chef Paul with today's Culinary Minute. We're going to talk about onions today. We're going to look at the onion and we're going to see the onion has two ends to it. You want to make sure you leave the root end intact. It's really important that the onion will fall apart. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to slice the end of it off. Now, once we've done that, you're going to set the onion up on its end and you're going to cut it down straight through the middle. Okay. At this point, we're going to do two different cuts with this onion. First thing we're going to do is peel some of this paper layer back and you can peel it back and use it as a little handle to help you hold the knife. Now what you're going to do is you're going to actually cut through the onion, but not all the way to the back of the onion. We're leaving the back of the onion intact so that it all stays together. So we're going to do our cuts about a half an inch apart and simply use the tip of the knife, go all the way down to the cutting board. You just don't want to cut all the way through the back end of the onion so the onion falls apart on you. Then we're going to do a couple of cuts horizontally. You've got to be really careful at this cut because you don't want the knife slipping and coming off and cutting you. Then we're going to do our cuts over the same width as we did our initial cuts. And if you did it right, you should end up with automatic half inch dices. Really simple. Now the reason we want to cut everything similarly is so that it cooks the same. It's really important to understand, especially with onions, the smaller they are, the quicker they're going to burn. So we want to make sure that we're cutting them all the same size because there's no quality without consistency. Once you get to the back end of the onion, you can cut a slice of it off and then simply dice it up by hand. Now with the other piece of onion, we're going to do a smaller dice. And remember, we we're going to peel that back. With this one, we're simply going to do our cuts closer together. That's all. It's pretty simple. And we're going to do these about between an eighth of an inch and a quarter of an inch apart. We're going to do a few more cuts, horizontal cuts, and then if you notice, they'll come off nice, beautiful little small dices. It's really quite simple. So, dicing onions, it really is simple. Have the right tools, keep them sharp. This is Chef Paul, and we'll see you next time.